I'm at Umbrella, one of my favorite shopping areas in Dallas. I just needed a place to like sit and talk to y'all. It's actually sprinkling all around me and I'm trying to protect my blowout. I wanted to give you a continuation of what we talked about in the last vlog. You know, the one where I'm sitting on the floor in a Korean airport. If you haven't seen that one yet, go to amandafrancis.com slash Korea. The last video blog was about believing in yourself, believing in your dreams, getting whatever you want out of life and knowing that the universe will give you what you believe you can have. So it's all about increasing your worth and knowing you're worthy of a great life. And when you believe that, the whole world reflects that right back to you. So when you have the belief that you're worthy and the universe works on your behalf, you maybe start asking for some things. So I have a daily desires list where I talk about what it is I want from life and from the world. I also have a vision board where I sometimes post images of the things that I'm believing I can have. Um, I have a lot of practices around visualizing and expecting and attracting. And But there's one important part that I've had to learn more and more over time is a key element in this whole process and that is releasing. So releasing really means that whenever the prices for the hotel in the city you've planned a trip to double or when there aren't any flights left or when it doesn't look like it's going to happen that you still trust. Some people have mantras they say to themselves. Um, Gabby Bernstein, a coach I love, says something like, there's a solution of the highest good. I asked for that to come forth. I say, I say your will be done. So along the same lines, I'm sure some of you have seen some studies that have been floating around Facebook where people put um, like three different plants out like on their kitchen counter and every day when they walk by them, they say to one, like I love you. They say to one something negative and maybe they ignore one. And the one that they say the positive thing to always flourishes and grows. The same study has been performed with putting like rice and water and then when you speak negatively to always mildews and the one that you ignore always looks awful which you know makes me think a lot about how we parent and speak to children it also makes me think a lot about and how we talk to ourselves because it's clear that things, things that you speak life and hope and belief into do the best but that's beside the point so the same experiment that people have done with the rice and the plants have been done on cancer units and hospitals where a group of people go in and pray over one group, don't pray over another group, and just simply pray your will be done to a third group. The group that you pray your will be done over consistently has the best results. I've read research around this, it's really, really interesting. So, but as I learned of this, I already knew that speaking positively to ourselves made a huge difference. I already knew that my belief was a big catalyst in what kind of life I had when I believed I was worthy and believed I could have big things and I asked for them, I got them. But a whole new level of this for me was after I pray, after I make the desire list or post on the vision board, I say a simple, your will be done. And every time I begin to freak out, I say, your will be done. If that sounds too religious for you, that's fine. I mean, you definitely don't have to say it that way. You can say, I believe there is an ultimate good. I believe the universe has my back. I believe that a solution is coming that is beneficial to me and everyone involved. I release, I trust, I allow, say what you need to say, but your will be done is my prayer of surrender. My prayer of, okay, I trust you, you've got it. I asked for a trip to Southeast Asia and then when there wasn't enough time over spring break to go to all the places I wanted to go, this old trip to Bali that I've been asking for for years just kind of emerged. My friend Megan moved to Bali. She had no plans to move to Bali. Do you know how many desire lists and journal entries have said, God, I want to go to Bali? It was like it just came up and it was all the things that I wanted it to be. I have on my vision board pictures of motorbiking. I motorbiked the whole time. I mean, living in a hut, I've had many, like on Pinterest boards, I've had many pictures of like staying in a hut on the beach. Like, I mean, it was so many things I've asked for. It just totally came together. And anytime it looked complicated or confusing, I knew God had my back. I knew the universe was creating with me. I knew it was all coming into alignment. And that's the, that's the faith. That's the belief in 
God, the world, life, whatever you want to call it. So whether you say your will be done or whether you find a different mantra for you, I just encourage you to dream big, to believe you can have it, to know that the universe has your back. And when it all looks like it's going to hell, to trust and to allow and know that you can't control or force the best plan for your life. When I try to control and force and make happen, it sucks. When I ask for what I want and release and, and do my part, be open for clues and signs of what's next. You know, I started a, a business last year by saying this is the kind of business I want, this is how I want it to feel every day, this is how I want to feel when I leave a session, this is what I want. And I didn't go around acting crazy. I didn't take the advice of most people. I was led. I wasn't led to take out a big ad in a newspaper. I was led to put flyers at Starbucks. I found all my clients, not all my clients, I found a lot of my clients putting flyers at Starbucks because that's the natural progression of what felt right to me. I did the things that felt right to me day by day and I am supported by this business that I love. If you believe and you know what you want and you get clear and you ask for it, you will be led every step of the way. It will all be laid out before you. So I encourage you to have faith, to know that there is good coming in your life and to release and allow and trust. Okay, so I love you. Follow me on Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at XO Amanda Francis, F R A N C E S. And um, I hope we get to connect soon and have a good day. Love you. Bye.